Hey guys, I Pokemon Eye here. Today I'm going to show my Necro face with eyes of blue. I just wanted to play along the theme with blue eyes, uh, considering that I use a couple of my own techs, which worked really well for me. So the it's just a standard blue eyes deck, to be honest. Um, if I'm completely honest with you, when I first started running the blue eyes deck, I didn't know how to run it, and it just looked like three of anything blue eyes related. So I just looked at the world uh, list, and obviously that was a different ban list and all that. But I started playing with that, and then I started slowly to change out cards that would, um, would play a preference that I prefer. So I'm just going to go ahead and show the deck profile. It's literally... It's, 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 uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So, three blue eyes. It's... You need to run three. Um... Nothing to say. There are four three of, of this deck, which are pretty much non. Or they're gonna have to be three ofs. So three blue eyes alternative whites. What is wrong with this crappy lighting? All right. Three stages. If I'm honest with you, a stage with eyes of blue. When it was out, when people started running a deck, I was thinking to myself. Why the hell do why do people run it? Is it just because it's a Vela searcher? And then I clocked actually it's pretty damn good, it's needed for the deck, um, especially for the draw engine, you know, to search the white stones and to start searching and drawing and milling and stuff. So three sage and three white stone. So those are the three ofs. White stone is pretty damn good as well. Um, I love that you can send a multiple to the grave, let's say with Dragon Shrine or Cards of Constance, whatever, and then get both the effects. You can get one effect, either Banish to add a level 8 dragon. Or, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you target a Blue Eyes monster, but it's usually a level 8 dragon, because that's all the level 8 dragons there are. Um, or you wait at the end phase and you special summon your Blue Eyes or Dragon Spirit of White. And it's pretty sick, it can be done during either player's turn, that effect. The one of is the one Dragon Spirit of White. I haven't tried more than one, but one works pretty well. Um, two seems like it would clog, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, one White Stone. I would like to run more, but I decided against it after testing it, the amount of times you draw multiples and all that. But it's nice, you know, discarding it with a Twister, or a Twin Twister, or any sort of card that lets you discard. Cards that literally make you a neg one to uh, give a plus off that, so give an even. And Master of Eyes of Blue, um, again, when people ran it, I was like, what is this rubbish? But I realised, recycle Vela, recycle all your level one tuners to continue your engine and going. Um, the two ofs, we run two effect Velas. Um, it's really sick that the card is searchable. It's actually incredible. I can't believe Vela is searchable in this deck. And when you go first, when you don't want to go first, when you go first, um, because opponents say they go second, when you search Vela, it's pretty damn good. They are forced to Vela Sage so that you don't search your own Vela. Uh, double Maxi, it is at two. I think it's needed. Now, two cool techs I run all in this deck. Swordsman Revealing Light, it's a level eight. Um, I don't. It's not as good as a battle failure. Let's be realistic here, but it's not horrendous, and it's pretty good. It, it allows you for your rank eight players. You can't go into the synchro, but the important thing is going to rank eight. So I run something pretty sick, which is Sun Dragon Heliopolis, which really allows me for some pretty damn cool plays, and two Necroface. I really like this card now. The fact that Pop Designs is an actual card makes me really like this card. Imagine you banish all your pieces. Okay, Pot Desires is definitely needed in this deck, especially in this deck. Well, it's, it's not needed, but I reckon it properly speeds up this deck incredibly, and you run literally three of every card, or multiple copies of every card that you possibly can run multiple copies of, and apart from the three cards I showed there, because you don't need multiple copies. And it's just cool in case you banish your key pieces, you just summon Necroface, shuffle everything back, and you don't lose anything, you just get some beastly Necroface. Uh, spells. We have Soul Charge. In this deck, it is run. Um, because the amount of draw power you have in this 
you have a really high chance of opening this. Um, you can probably go through half your deck in one turn. I've done that. I did that actually against a Burning Abyss player. I, I won game one after a long grind. But on my first turn, I went just absolutely in. And unfortunately, he was able to grind back. But I sold charge for a bit more than I should have. Two Twin Twister, because the cards that you can discard, i.e. the White Stones, pretty much only the White Stones, or stuff to get Dragons in a Grave to reborn with, um, what's the card called? Return of the Dragon Lords? Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's the card. Uh, just to discard it so you can dump it in the grave, and then, or if you discard the eggs, you get pluses, or evens even. And two cards of Constants. Um, I did run three at first, just like the Worlds winner, but I decided against it now. Double Dragon Shrine. Really like this card. I did run three. Uh, last week I ran three. I did absolute rubbish at the tournament. And I was like, you know what? The amount of times I've opened double Dragon Shrine is absolutely ridiculous. So let's just cut one off and we'll add in Swordsman of Reading Light. And that's what I did. Triple trading. Um, what to say? It's, with, with Desires, it's the best draw card in this deck. Well, actually, it is the end, but you've got cards constants. What load of rubbish, yeah. Sorry, and three return of dragon lords staple in the deck. Three melody, melody of the awakening dragon. I don't know why I said melody, yeah. Melody of awakening a dragon. Um, again, nothing to say, it's needed. Three pot of desires. Again, um, I think the card is incredible, and especially for a deck like this where you can, it just helps you to banish everything, and because I can recycle it, as I've said quite a lot of times, uh, it's pretty important. And only three traps because of the immense draw power. So you've got one Emptiness, one Solar Morning, and one Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I don't know if I'd increase my trap lineup, I very much like the amount of traps are running now, three. I mean, I don't mind not opening any traps, but of course, as I've said, the draw power is absolutely ridiculous. I feel like I'm playing Exodia when I'm playing uh, this uh, Blue Eyes deck. Go into extra deck, pretty standard. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Dragon. Uh, I don't like the card, I didn't go into it. Uh, I might take it out. Tachyon Dragon, you mainly use it to go into um, Falama or Mata. This was so cool. This is really cool when you have emptiness in the field and you have another monster. Uh, you can just bait them. You have to make them attack this one and they take damage. I did that. Uh, to be honest, I want to take this out as well. I didn't make it once. You only really make this again in, to go into... Uh, full armor or dark matter, but I didn't make this under skill drain and then did attack. It's high attack. Got dark matter. It's really funny, but you're not going to get this effect off many times because you don't run many different dragons. I mean, you run let's say three stone, three blue eyes, three blue eyes, a spirit, um, and white stone. That's five. I think you only run five different dragon monsters in here. You know what, I, I'd like to think it's more, but I think it could be only five. So one, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> it is only five. So you're not really going to get this effect off much. And probably my favourite um, extra deck monster that I made over the weekend was Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heli Heliopolis. It gets rid of your dead alternate dragons if you're really desperate. I mean, the fact that you contribute itself, it doesn't target, which is probably the most important thing. And it enables you to push for game. And it is also, obviously, a target for, um... Return of a Dragon Lord. Yeah, yeah, I just had to make sure that Return of a Dragon Lord didn't state a uh, level when it's protecting dragon. For Synchros, there's Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, of course, for the... Um, blue Eye Spirit. You could summon. I love Justice Cyclone Reader. 
What is the card called? You know, I have it here. Cycle Reader. Yes, Cycle Reader, not Cycling Creator. And summons, there's something into this, but I mean, there's absolutely no point in doing it. You've got one Michael. Yeah, Spirit Target. It's pretty sick. Um, but actually, running one of each is pretty good. It gets you out of those really odd situations. So you've got two Azorais. Uh, you've I think you have to run it. There has been a couple times where I have gone through all of them. Uh, same with Spirit Dragons, I have gone through all of these before as well. But I, I am learning the deck more and more every day or whenever I play with it. So I, I think I'm getting not horrendous anymore. And one Spark Dragon for Azura, I can get it out for the Spark Lock. I never actually pulled out the lock once. I did make a really stupid play once. But I never pulled a lock out once. And Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Love it. Anyway. And one more card. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon as well. I don't really know if I like this card. It doesn't seem... I don't understand the point of running it. I guess to get over problem cards. But I haven't gone over. I haven't hit problem cards yet. But actually, it's alright. Um, I haven't... yeah, it's alright. I'll go through my side deck. Um, there was an event over the weekend I did incredibly well for myself. For most people, coming 10th out of 83 people, uh, players is like nothing. It's like a regular day for them. But for me, someone who experiments with different cards and stuff, uh, it was quite surprising for myself. So I'll go through the side deck. Two Chaos Trap Hole. It's so sick in a mirror match. Um... I love this card much more than than I should, Mystical Ref Panel. I side in whenever I see the opportunity of someone's going to play Desires or something, or I've seen the Desires, or let's just assume that they play it, I just want it. It's so sick in the mirror match as well, like, they activate trade in and shit, you just, you get to draw two. Skill Drain, oh my god, how I've missed you so much. I used to play this in, yeah, Light Swan, that was it, Light Swan, Light Swan Rulers. And it's just nice to sit on a Blue Eyes, or anything actually, and then with a Skill Drain on the field, it's just so cool. 2 uh, Diddy Crow, um, I don't know why I played this, I was told to play it. 2 Xyz Universe, uh, for Burning Abyss, to go into Infinity. The Infinity is here, sorry, that's Infinity's inside deck as well. Two Cycle Reader is pretty damn amazing in the mirror match. It's also a tuner, but not like it matters. Two MST for the fragrances because people absolutely love siding fragrance and one Rangeki. So that is the deck. Um, I went 4 1 1. The draw was probably the most irritating draw of my life because I won game one in like 35 minutes. I should have just taken my time if I'm honest. And then the guy. I don't know, yeah, okay, then then he won game two, so it was a draw. Uh, my first game, uh, the first time I ever placed against Metal Foes, uh, I've never played against them before, and I made a really stupid play. The guy dropped Maxi, I was like, you know what, I don't want you to draw a card off Maxi, so I'm just going to um, end. But what I could have done is had him under Emptiness and Blue Eyes lock. But that was just me and my silly playing. And yes, that is that. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I Pokemon I here. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Um, I worked relatively hard on the thumbnail as well. It was quite fun. Maybe I'll get into uh, that kind of stuff again. I don't know. But I guess the deck profile was relatively unique. I mean, no one really runs Necroface. It's really nice, like really, really nice to just catch people off guard. You know, everyone's face, when you summon Necroface, and it has a beastly attack, like let's say, let's say 4,000, which happened, it went to 4,000. And then you just like, it's sick, you know? Because they, popular desires, let's face it, it's pretty much a staple card in most people. People will just want to run everything. And when they pop desires, okay, sure, they draw two. When I summon Necroface, assuming that I've also popped desire, it's going to get at least plus 2,000 attack. And that's a problem on its own to deal with, and it obviously baits out the effect of Ella. Obviously, you can also return, uh, or banish Return of the Dragon Lords, 
and then recycle it. You can also banish stones, the, this, um, the white stone of ancients, which is pretty important as well, and there's recycling, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Again, I hope when I hear, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. I will see you guys later.